In this video, we go through how to use 3D Printer OS. Really, the only useful one here is GoToCloud. That has opened up my files, and you can see here that it's saved into my root directory. Projects, this is like those subdirectories I was talking about. Uh, I want to click on print and print it. I've got 100 bucks, so I can afford this $12.48 print. Clicking on print, now this is where it's important that we send it to the right machine. I can tell that I've written it for an N06 machine, so I can't put it on these machines because they've got a smaller nozzle and that could damage the machine. So I need to find a machine that has a 0.6 nozzle. Here we have our 0.6 nozzles. This one here has clear, it's got this little question mark. The white is also white, but there's no question mark. And we also will write clear to try and make it quite obvious. We have a machine with black. I want this in white. I'm going to click on here and... Oh, Rene Oscar, you can ignore this person. This is not us. I'm just going to put you away there, Rene. And now click on print. You'll then end up with this window and just double check that there isn't anything on the printer. If you see something here and you're starting to print your file, this could end badly. The printer status has changed from downloading to heating and you'll be able to see these numbers here getting hotter. Okay, the printer's started and it's a good idea just to come back and check that this first layer is going successfully. If it's going to fail at this point, it's going to fail for everything that's built on top of it. So I would definitely check first half hour. So if you ever do need to cancel, you can click on this cancel button here. Say there was already a print on there or for some other reason you don't need it anymore. You'll only be charged the amount of material and time. Pausing is probably not a good idea because pause it and restart it again. You can get artifacts showing up. Now let's say I closed this and then I came back and I wanted to see my print jobs. You can go back to activity and here you can see I have this job that is currently running. If I click on the kebab over here, I can get details of it. This video will be emailed to you when the print job is finished. If you go to printers, you can also see other jobs that are happening currently. And this job here is by me. If you click on the live wall, you can see all of the printers. A lot of the content that you see on your canvas is also replicated in our YouTube channel. Just type in DMAF in YouTube and you should be able to find our channel. We've got some playlists, the ones for 3D printers and robots, etc.